welcome to this video. I am Pratiksha Ji. This video serves you a step-by-step -step guide to install DocuSeries and of course know what is DocuSeries. Let's begin with it. Type in DocuSeries and click on the first link that you get. Before diving in what is DocuSeries, let us know what is documentation so that it becomes easy to know why this video is. What is the purpose of knowing DocuSeries? So what do you mean by documentation? Let's take an example of user guide. We all need a user guide whenever we start something new or else whenever we want to travel somewhere. So let us take an example of starting something new. DocuSeries is something that is new that we're going to start. So to know DocuSeries, we of course need a documentation. Documentation we can have in PDF and Word format. But in this interactive world, now we have an availability to have documentation in a form of website. So with the help of DocuSeries, we are going to update our level of displaying documentation to people. When we land to the DocuSeries page, we get to see two buttons. That is one is get started, second is try a demo. Try a demo allows you to have hands-on experience with DocuSeries even without installing or setting it up. This video purpose is to install and set up DocuSeries. So let's move forward to it. When you click on get started, you will see a page, a documentation made by DocuSeries to know what is DocuSeries. So, so before installing, let us know what is DocuSeries. DocuSeries will help you ship a beautiful documentation site in no time because you just need to have your content the documentation in place to have a beautiful documentation site in no time. Focus on content. Exactly as I mentioned before, you just have to focus on your content and just write markdown files, that is .md file. Now DocuService is a static site generator. It builds a single page application, fast client navigation. Why it is said fast client site navigation? Because when we click on configuration or else we click on installation, have a look towards this reload sign and let me click on uh, some other sub menu. Do you see it reloading? No, correct? So that's the reason it has been said as fast client side navigation, leveraging the full power of React to make the site more and more interactive. It provides out of box documentation features, but can be used to create any kind of site. So DocuSeries can also be used to create course websites, spread up blogs, marketing, landing pages, etc. Now let us go with the installation steps of DocuSeries. The installation has become now quite more easy with the updating version of it. So the requirements are Node.js is a requirement. So let us install Node.js side by side. Let us click on Node.js. I have Windows, so I'll be installing .msi for Windows. If you have Mac, you can click on this, or if you want a source code, you can click on this. So till the time Node.js gets installed, let us uh, know the other requirements and other installation steps of DocuSeries. So previously it was important to install YARN also, but now it is not. So we just need to have Node.js in our system. Then on CMD, we need to run this command npx create docuseries at the rate latest that means with the latest version and the site name we can change the site name this is my website we can give any name that we want and theme is classic as we are starting it for the first time we'll be considering the theme as classic only you can have the theme as per your choice then what we have to do is Okay, so this is a basic structure, how your DocuSeries structure would look like. After installing, so your project would have blogs by default, docs, SRS, wherein you will have your CSS folder, pages, wherein you will have your index.js folder, static, wherein you'll have your image folder, where you will store all your images that will be used in your project. This is the main one, that is docuseries.config.js. Here you will be making all your changes of website that means the landing page changes the title the favicon the logo of your website the organization name of the website 
the organization name for the website and the other more changes. Package.json, then readme sidebars. Sidebars will help you adjust the sidebars of your website. These sidebars are loaded by default. So we don't have to worry about sidebars for now. Let's move down. You can read more about the project structure at the bottom. Okay. So after moving inside my website, that means whatever name we will give to the uh, we will give to the project, we have to write down npm run start command. This will start a project on local host. So before making any changes to the project, we would follow we, we will be following the step to know whether our project is properly running or not. So that after making changes, there are possibly no errors. npm run build. Build command is used when you want your website to be set up on GitHub, maybe. As it is a static, static website, you can publish it on GitHub. You can host it on GitHub, I mean, or else you can use any other uh, hosting site to host your blog service project. So npm run build folder, this command will create a folder named build that will have all your uh, index.html, HTML file and other document files that you have created. We can update our DocuSeries version like this by changing the version name over here. So Node.js has got downloaded. Let us install it. Of course, even you might be interested and excited to uh, set up your first DocuSeries website. Let's do it then. Now we'll be installing or we'll be setting up our project. Let's go to DocSeries and uh, let's create this. Let's copy this. Let us finally run and see how our website looks like. npm run start. You can also use the command npm start or docuser start. Let us go. Okay, so it is starting. It will be yay because the URL here. And also our website has got loaded. So this is the by default website that we get. That means the by default theme. This is the by default website theme that we have got. Okay, so it looks good, purely cool. To the blog. You can also change it to dark mode. Mm -hmm. You can also have a better play. Editing this website will be quite more interesting. So in the next video, we're going to see how we can edit this website. What all and where we'll put our content. And if possible, we will also try to publish it. That means we'll try to host it. We'll see using which ID, which platform we can edit the website. I hope you found this video interesting and you are also quite excited to start working with DocuSeries. Thank you.